Apparently, you can turn any image into a free sticker. I was so shook when I found this out. I cannot believe I just discovered this. All you do is just take any image or drawing you want, cut it out, then you place it on the parchment paper, tape it up, and smooth out the air bubbles. Then you just roughly cut out with the edges, and then you legitimately have any customized sticker for free. You just peel off the parchment paper and place anywhere you want. I've waited so long. Instant smile. So I've always been really, really insecure about my smile. I've tried everything from braces to teeth whining. I can never get a smile this bright. And I've always thought about veneers, but it's really expensive. So let's just see how well these will look on me. Maybe I'll be rocking these every day. Apparently your smile can go from this to this. So let's just see how well my smile can improve. As I pulled this out, I got a little afraid to put this in my mouth, but we went ahead anyways and boiled the water, popped those suckers in. Literally reminds me of dentures. Ooh, I'm starting to contemplate how well this will turn out, but I have very, very high. I hope so once it turns to this like gooey very moldable thing you pop it in your mouth and press against your teeth and now okay it's actually kind of looking it literally looks like the purge <laughs> i wanted to share a quick life hack with you instead of cutting the drink like this there's a cute little tiny hidden tab that you can pull up with your fingers to open so easy. Cool, right? Stop wasting your time doing dishes. Instead, just cover your dishes with tinfoil. Now enjoy your food without the hassle. You can even do it with cups too. So easy. Cool, right? Removing your makeup could be pretty difficult and it can get pretty pricey with certain products, but I found that using just regular natural butter is the best way to break down the makeup molecules. I then go in with a paper towel, wipe all the excess away, look at all that makeup that has been broken down and melted from the butter. After this, it is now time for step numero dos. I love using a basic shampoo. You can use any shampoo of your choice, but I love this because it really strips away all the excess makeup that the butter could not get. I then just remove my contacts and that's how I keep my face squeaky clean. It's gonna blow your mind and you're never gonna want to eat these candies the same way ever again. Please don't use a spoon like this because I literally burned my hand. It hurts so bad. So be very careful and take a pan and, you know, just take your time. Let this stuff melt down. I know it seems literally weird, but once it smells like that, it's time to take a straw and let me just put you on. Like, what? And you can eat this ass. My mouth will never be the same after this. <sighs> this is a warning to anyone who's ever considered tooth gems and why you should always have a professional do this. So, of course, I start off with my bang because I was going to need a lot of energy and this was going to be very time consuming. I was actually pretty nervous because I've never done this at home and you'll see why you probably shouldn't do this at home. Um, I didn't realize that you have to be very, very careful with this dental glue. Um, if it gets on your lips, your lips can get stuck how mine did. Um, I ended up just not doing one gem because I thought that was boring and I decided to do my entire mouth. The problem with this is that it's actually permanent and now my mouth is stuck like this, but I kind of love it. Okay, first things first, I'm going to put this Gucci belt in this jar. And then I'm going to pick a liquid. I'm choosing Bang because it's one of my faves, but I'm going to take a sip before we let it go. And we're going to fill up this whole jar full of the Bang. Now that we filled up the entire jar full of Bang, I'm going to be taking just regular ground ginger. And this is what's so crazy and where the magic happens. As you can see, the ginger is sitting at the top and it is not blending through. It is completely separated. I'm going to stick my hand completely in. As you can see, the ginger is now surrounding my hands and my hand is completely dry this is a proper way to open up a drink can let me just tell you so i'm obsessed with candles this isn't even half of my collection and i'm also obsessed with bang so i thought to myself why don't i just create the two and create my own bang candle so i got all the ingredients to create my own bang candle yes i said that bang candle so then i waited for the wax to boil and then i added the actual bang so i can smell like a bang candle and then i added more apple so i can smell like a bang and I just want to eat it, but I can't. And then I pour it in the wax, and then I let that dry, cut it, and nope, that's not my bang. That's my bang candle. And I lit it, and it literally smells like bang. I was so shook, I could not believe <gasps> So this is the tiniest phone in the world. I'm so curious to see if this even turns on and works. I'm shaking, it's so tiny. Oh my god! Oh my gosh. It makes a sound every time you open and close it. This size comparison is literally insane compared to the iPhone. So I've taken the SIM card from my other iPhone and I'm going to pop it in here. Okay, now that's all set up, I'm going to start dialing myself. It's ringing. Is it going to go through? Oh, wait, what the heck? Hello? Hello? <gasps> what the heck? It works! I hope this works. So this is a giant squishy. And this is 100% acetone. So I hope you see where this is going. Okay, it's time for the first bottle. I'm so freaked out to see what's gonna happen. Oh, it's so soft. Here's the next bottle. 
What the heck? He's getting so big. So now he's doubled in size, but we got a ton more to go. So after this much acetone, you would expect for it to get bigger, but instead it turned into a big bucket of slime. I'm never using makeup wipes again. Apparently this mask peels off your makeup. If you take anything from this video, it's do not eat it. It's seriously disgusting. So I took the mask and started applying it all over to my face and I was not scarce. I literally put it everywhere and used a lot. Then took the blow dryer to dry it, but my face was so tight. I could barely drink my drink and I was so thirsty, but then my face was actually completely dry and ready to remove. And I was so shook. It was actually removing my makeup. Like what? <gasps> I'm never using eyebrow makeup again after this. So if you guys do not know, I bleached off my eyebrows a while back. And this is what it looks like before I draw on my eyebrows in the morning. And trust me, it gets really exhausting to have to draw on your eyebrows every morning. So I really thought that these eyebrow tattoos would be life-changing for me. It didn't come with much instruction, so I did just the basic temporary tattoo instructions. I soaked it with bang because why not submerged it. And um, this is the result. Okay, I think it would turn out great if you had steady hands, but what is this? Don't be fooled, some people's abs may be fake. Literally, this suit turns any body shape into a muscular body. All you gotta do is just go through this terrible process of trying to put it on, it's really scary. Once it's on, it's scary how realistic it is. So I told my friends I've been working out for one day. This is my one day results. Wait, there's no way it's <laughs> one day. <laughs> <laughs> Nicolette. It's only been one day. I know. This is so freaky. Oh. <laughs> Back from the gym session. So that was my old method, but today we're gonna be trying to self tan by bathing in it. I really hope this works. Okay, first can, here we go. <gasps> this is the last bottle I have, so I'm gonna have to run to the store and get more. Okay, so this is all that I could get left. Okay, so that is a lot of self tanner, but we're gonna dilute it a little bit so I can actually bathe. Now let's get it. <gasps> okay, it's time to go under. <gasps> okay, so the color looks great, but it's not even. Oh my God, my hair is smoking. Okay, this is a warning to anyone who wants to get a perm or is thinking about getting a perm. You're probably not going to want a perm after this video. So today I wanted to give myself a perm from Walmart. Bad idea. Anyway, so I didn't even have the right perm rod. So I used like plastic straws. Same thing. Anyway, so I used the prepping lotion, wrapped my hair around all the straws to look like this when it was done. Then it was time to add the actual like perm solution to like make your hair curly. Everything was fine and dandy until my hair started smoking. I literally had like some chemical combustion happen. And I didn't know this until that is why. So don't do this. And actually, Don't buy your perms at Walmart. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably like, what is that? It's so freaking gross. And Ooh. trust me, it is, but you're gonna wanna do this. It is so fun to make. This is recycled paper. And I added yellow paint. Don't recommend that. You should add a different color. But you basically make a little frame with a screen to sift through all the paper. And then you pat it through with a sponge, soak up the excess, and then you let this sit for 24 hours. And let me just tell you, the next day, I was so excited to show you this. It is actual homemade paper, and this helps the environment. It is so fun to make, and you can write on it. To nose wax, designed for nose hair removal. Oh no, I'm gonna regret this. This is my first time waxing my nose. It's currently day three of quarantine. What am I doing with my life? Okay, so it is completely melted and I'm dipping it in. Oh no, it's ready. This is only for professional use. <laughs> Ow, it burns. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. Why does it burn so hot? One an hour. Okay, it's dry. I'm gonna pull it out. One, two. Ow, ew. Nail through fake tongue prank. Let's go. So he's gonna flip. Mmm, that smells so good. It's almost ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How to get the perfect tan. Let's go. Pour it in. Roll. And apply. You gotta make sure it's applied everywhere. It's my favorite technique. Easy as one, two, three. So that was my old method, but today we're gonna be trying to self tan by bathing in it. I really hope this works. Okay, first can, here we go. <gasps> this is the last bottle I have, so I'm gonna have to run to the store and get more. Okay, so this is all that I could get left. 
Okay, so that is a lot of self tanner, but we're gonna dilute it a little bit so I can actually bathe. Now let's get in. <gasps> okay, it's time to go under. <gasps> okay, so the color looks great, but it's not even. A lot of people have been asking me how I've been doing the breakup and being sad and how I cope with all these things. All this isn't easy, but this thing I'm about to show you has really helped me out a lot and I just don't want any of you guys being sad anymore and this is what's cured my sadness. Once you get everything attached like this, all you gotta do is you go like this and then like this and a smile goes a long way and it works with the mask too. If you have an iPhone, you need to see this. Don't try this at home, but I'm gonna show you what our iPhones could be doing to our brains with steel wool. As you can see, nothing happens when we hit the steel wool against the iPhone, but watch what happens when a FaceTime call is made. Oh, <gasps> what? Ah! Oh, mom, this is a solid gold bracelet, and you get to keep this, mom, if you can guess all the bang flavors correctly. It's a challenge. Let's see if you can do it. Let's see if mom's got the talent. Okay. What is it? Apple. Oh, that's right. Ding, ding. Correct. Cotton candy, I like that one. Mm, okay. Mm. Well, I got talent. I just got talent. That's that one. What, mom? 